It's DT Daily Time, I'm Casey Montoya. In today's tech news, Microsoft unveils its Surface tablet, Spotify launches free streaming radio for iOS, Sharp debuts a massive 90-inch TV, Nokia's PureView 808 heads to the U.S., Harry Potter heads to the Kindle Lending Library, and more. Yesterday, Microsoft unveiled a tablet of its own. Running Windows 8, the Microsoft Surface tablet will have all the features you'd expect in an iPad-like tablet running Windows, but it does have a few tricks up its sleeve as well. The Surface can prop itself up with a built-in kickstand, and its thin screen protector doubles as a fold-out keyboard. Intel models are available, which support full backward compatibility with Windows 7. Music streaming giant Spotify today released a free streaming radio feature for its iOS app, which will compete directly with rival service Pandora. Spotify radio for iOS requires no subscription, but like Pandora, users will have to suffer through ads. To get the new radio feature, just update your iOS app. Want a big TV? Sharp has the perfect one. Unveiled yesterday, Sharp's new Aquos HDTV measures an eye-popping 90 inches and comes loaded with Wi-Fi connectivity, 120 hertz refresh rates for more fluid motion, and of course, 3D. The only downside? It'll cost you $11,000. Nokia's hyped 41 megapixel PureView 808 smartphone will finally make its way to the United States. Later this week, the Symbian phone will go up for pre order on Amazon Wireless. The Super Camera phone will cost $700 and be compatible with ATT's 3G network and T Mobile's 2G network. Tablets are popular, but they may be even more popular than you think. According to a new study published by the Online Publishers Association, 31% or nearly a third of internet users in the United States have purchased tablet PCs like the iPad. The study expects 75 million people will pick up a tablet before the end of 2012. As promised, Amazon now exclusively offers all seven books of Harry Potter series through its Kindle Lending Library, which is accessible to users who pay for an Amazon Prime subscription. Potter fans will only be able to take out one book at a time, but Amazon says it will give readers the chance to re-borrow the popular titles. That does it for this edition of DT Daily. Be sure to check back with Digital Trends later for our review of ES Series 5.1 Channel Home Theater System from Fluence, a little-known company that's developing a big reputation for value.